Hi, um, I'm here to describe the reciprocal reading literacy strategy. Sometimes it's called reading in teams. Please see the other video that explains the different roles that are in a reciprocal reading team. Basically, each person is assigned a role and a group of students read and process a text. The text is broken up into smaller chunks and the different roles create opportunities for the students to really engage their thinking in the text. A tech tool that can support this literacy strategy is called Padlet. So I'm going to show you how to use that on the iPad. I've got a photo up here. I am going to go to my Safari browser and I already have the website pulled up. It's padlet.com as you can see from the URL up at the top. Um, Padlet lets you create a wall where the members of the reciprocal reading team can post their thinking all together, so it lets them work collaboratively. First, you'll have to sign in to Padlet using an email address and a password. You have to create an account in order to edit the walls, but not to be able to view them. So if you haven't done that already, you should, that's the first thing that you should do is um, create a sign in. Now mine is already signed in, so I'm going to show you how to, step by step, how to use Padlet to represent their thinking during a reciprocal reading um, strategy. So first, you'll, you should have one student in a group create a new wall, and this is where they'll represent their learning. So I'm going to click on the plus sign, and it's building my wall, and voila, my wall is ready. So you can see from the directions on the right-hand side, it just says double tap anywhere to post, and literally that's what we do. We just double tap on the text, and if my role is a predictor, I might put right here, predict, and I'm, there we go. I'll make a prediction about the text. Um, I've got this started here. I'm the first student, but what I actually should have done first would be to share with my um, teammates. So if you click on that little arrow that export it, you'll get a QR code. So the other members of the group can just scan that QR code and then they have access to edit the same wall. So everybody can be working together. You'll want to make sure that um, you um, check out some of the great options that you can use. You can add different wallpaper. I like this wood one. You can change the layout of it to different formats. I like the free form. You can post anywhere and then you can um, adjust where the things are, where the posts are, but you might want to experiment with that. The privacy, you might want to say that it's totally public and that they can edit. And then they can write and then it's the most um, user-friendly in terms of it has the most flexibility. So you'll say submit. And now everybody should have access to the same, um, to the same wall to be able to edit on it. So now I'm going to go back to my wall and other members of the group can start also posting their things and their um, thinking from their different roles. So if I am the person whose job it is to clarify, I might write a vocab word here. If it is my job to be the envisioner, that is the person who gets an image, I might upload an image from my camera roll. Envision. And that's it. So each member of the group, depending on their role, can be contributing different things to the wall. Um, you can also share this Padlet with the teacher in that same place where they shared the QR code with each other. You can select this, copy, and then if you have the students, if you made a form for the students, they could fill in their name. Oops, that's not my last name. There we go. I'm in hour one, and I am going to insert, that's the link to my Padlet wall. And now I'll submit that. And now the teacher has access to a spreadsheet of all the different links to the different walls that are in, um, coming in as an assignment. So just one idea to get the reciprocal uh, teaching literacy strategy and use a tech tool to support that. Hope you enjoyed and Thanks so much for watching.